What's up, I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a stone veneer wall. So, that's my wall. I already got the scratch coat and stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna show y'all is uh, the tools you need. So, we'll do that right now. For mixing, you're gonna need, I like to use two buckets. I got a hose, and uh, this is called bonding agent. So this will go in the mortar. This is bonding adhesive. That has to do with the laying process. And then this mixer here. So water, bonding agent, buckets, this for mixing. For laying, you're gonna need a level uh, to make straight lines. I'll show you that when we're up there. You need a trowel. I use a baby trowel, a little seven incher. I don't like to use a big thing. It fits in the bucket easier. And yeah, you're gonna need bonding adhesive, a little container to dump it into, and a paintbrush to paint the back of your rocks. Occasionally you are going to need a grinder, uh, that way you can fit the stones in easier. Okay, so I start with like a quarter bucket of water, and I take this bonding, adhesive, bonding agent, I do a six count for my bucket. I'm going to shake it up a little bit, because it separates, it's kind of weird, it's like oil and water. Shake her up. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. So a quarter bucket, that. And I do half bags at a time. So that's what it looks like. You know, once the uh, this stuff comes to the top, start mixing. I do it like that, it's easy to mix when I do the ratio that I'm doing. This is what you want it to look like right here. Still makes it good. Now what I do is called double whipping. So basically I'm gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna go put all my stuff on my lift and uh, get ready to lay, get my stones laid out. Then I'll come back, mix this up again. That makes the mortar last longer so I don't have to mix it up so much. I'm also gonna take a bottle of water with me in case I do need to shake it up while I'm up on the lift so I don't have to keep coming up and down. All right, so I let this set a little bit while I got ready to lay up there. You can tell it's already super stiff. So again, this is called double whipping. So all I'm gonna do is Give a little sprint. I got it, went the top, mix her back up, and this will make my mud last longer. Alright, I'm gonna tap off that mud, put her in my other bucket. Easiest clean you'll ever see. So now that we're up here, I'll uh, just talk to you about what I do when I'm like laying out my stone. So, the first thing I wanna do is I want to have a level surface to work off of. So that's what my level's for. I got my level, I got my marker, and I put a black line across there, about every three, four feet. So here's my last line. I have a straight line across. Level mark, it looks better from the ground. It's easier to work off of something that's already level. So once I have that all filled in, which this is not filled in, my second, my next section here. But anyway, you have this to start with. I do one corner, I do the other corner, and then you fill in the guts. Now, it's pretty easy, you just build leads, you know, stepping down, like that. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Now, every one of these rocks has a level part on it. So that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have like a, like the top here, that's level. See how it's slanted here, but the top's level. This one is a circle, but the bottom's level. All right, I always have a one level section on my stones, and that's pretty much it. Like this one's slanted, level. This top piece, level, level. And I, it's all about preference, man. I mean, you can do whatever you want, honestly. That's just what I think looks the best. And I do the same thing. So I'll fill in the guts here, I'll go up that corner, I'll go up that corner, level mark across, fill in the guts, corner, corner, 
level mark guts that that's about it that's how i do it and if you're doing a wall like the one down here same thing i went up that side and then i went up that side and then i filled in the guts so i do the same exact thing even if there are no corners all right so there's a difference between a uh, fake and real stone so this is a uh, fake stone it's got concrete back so when i grind this concrete is going to show and that's that's not good so there's ways that you can go around this so like when i have a hole to fill in here i'm up in the air right you can grind the top and no one's ever going to see that again so i got this rock here i got to grind the top off and then i'll also show you what to do in cases where you have to grind the side which is just two for one so i'm going to show you what to do how to hide the concrete when uh you grind the side of it off all right, so the top here, no one's ever going to see. I can stick it right in, but this side, you can. So I kind of angled it back when I cut it, so you can't see it so well. But anyway, so you're going to go over here. Every time, this is just like all stones too. So you take this bonding uh, adhesive, paint the back of it, right? And I just dab up, cut. So then I go over here. I go to my uh, cut and just smooth some mud on there and in my opinion that looks better than seeing the stones so occasionally I have to do this when I fill in the guts because I cannot find a piece that fits for the random holes that I have but anyway so you paint the back with the bonding agent uh, so I got a big pile of it right Smooth down the edges, all right? And then I feather it almost like I'm laying brick, and I smooth around the whole outside. And then I kind of scoop out the middle with the extra excess. Boop. You don't want too much, because then you can't pound it on. So almost like when you're spreading a brick wall. And you go over here, you see me well. I'm gonna clean your trowel off. So you don't beat a bunch of little particles on you. You see me good. All right, so all you do is stick this in here. And I use my fingers as spacer. Sometimes you dry stack it, whatever. But in this case, we are having space. So I use my fingers as spacers. I hold it till uh, it doesn't move. I let it go and that's it. I don't clean up anything. You can kind of smooth the top sometimes, but I prefer I just let it go until it gets hard. All right, after it sets up a little bit, you take your slicker, you want the mud to be a little crusty, and you just scratch out around the rocks that you laid. This just makes it better for when you point in your joints. It just makes everything look nicer for the end product so i'm just going to talk a little bit more about like my thought process when i'm picking out my stones so like i said i have my level line across there so i have one straight line that's just one uh besides that i have no straight lines across like whoosh, cuts off you know cuts off cuts off and they switch uh my rule of thumb is uh you know, you want to go like two, three. You don't want to go more than three stones before you split it. Same thing this way. Three stones, and then it's split. You know what I mean? So that's just the my thought process. You know, two stones split. That's just how I do it. So you can do it however you want. It's all about personal preference. So that's just the way that I like to do it. So after you scratch it out, there's always these... uh little dust things everywhere so you just take a leaf blower blow it all out and then once it's all clean uh, you're ready to uh, start pointing in so there are a couple different ways to be doing this uh, stonework stuff so this is the way I'm doing it I got joints here I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to fill mud in in the cracks right uh but another way is dry stack so they would be there'd be no joints at all and everything would be tight together so that's why it's called dry stack uh, i don't really know any other 
types of like way to lay stone other than dry stack or joints but you know you, know, you could look that up thanks for watching if you have any questions just leave them in the comments i'll be happy to answer them uh, i'm going to make another video about uh how to point in these joints uh, i feel like this one was long enough so if you are interested in that i'll put that in the video following this so just click on that video right now check that out